so now i will discuss about the ndvi and ndvi ndvi means mm -hmm. normalized difference validation index and ndvi means normalized difference and difference build up index so now i okay. will calculate this function using this ndvi and uh, uh, as well as i will uh, use the ndvi using this function so you can see this this is our formula so now i want mm -hmm. to apply this formula as well as I also cloud max from satellite images. Uh, when I calculate the NDVI and NDVI, I also try to show you how you can cloud max from your satellite images. Also, how you can easily remove this cloud from your satellite yeah. images. So let's go our code editor. And I also remove all of this. Remove, I also remove it. So first of all, I use, I want to use my shapefile. So I hope you want to know how you can easily import your shapefile. So in this case, I will use this Dhaka shapefile. So I simply click to here. The shapefile will be added in my script. So in this case, I will try to show you how you can easily remove your cloud from your images. And I also try to show you how you can calculate the NDVI as well as you can also calculate the NDVI. And lastly, I will try to show you how you can export these images from your Google Drive. Mm -hmm. So let's go. So first of all, you need to search here your uh, Sentinel images from here. So you can see I use these images. So when you click here, you can get all of this information from here. You can simply click to import. This image will be imported or you can simply copy this collection snippet. This image will be copied, collection simulate and paste here. So I simply copy and paste here. And I gave this variable name. So I suppose I gave this var and I gave this variable s to a and I gave this variable name. So now this collection will be imported in here. Okay. So now I want to filter one by one. So first of all, I want to filter my date. Suppose this is my filter date. I want to filter from the 2016-01-01. And I also filtered this 2016-12-31. Okay. And now I also show you how you can filter your metadata. So suppose I want to filter the metadata. So I use here the filter use the filter then use here the ee dot filter dot less than it means lt so in this case i want to filter metadata so if you don't know what is the filter metadata you can simply go here and click your image properties you can information sheet and go your image properties here you can see the cloud pixel percentage i simply copy this image properties Mm -hmm. And I use here the filter ee filter uh, ee filter dot lt. It means ee filter dot less than. I want to I want to less than I want to less than cloud pixel part sentence will be ninety. So you can see this is the function filter then ee filter dot less than. I want to uh, I want to get the less than ninety uh, cloud pixel part sentence. Okay. So I use here the EE filter less than cloud pixel part sentence 90. So here the LT means less than. Okay. So you can use this here. And I also need the median. Median function. I need the median. So it reduce our images. So you can see here this the uh, time frame. And in this time frame, there are there are different uh, years or different months that the different images will be added here. But I need only this median from this collection. So I from this date. So here I use the simply use the median. Okay. So and I also use the clip function because in this case I want to show this my result only for the Dhaka district. Here I, you can see I already uploaded my shape file. So I uploaded my shape file here. I want to show this result only this boundary shape file. So I uh, mm -hmm. use here this table 
uh, also you can change this name so uh, if you don't change it's not mandatory so i change this name so that you can easily understand so this is my boundary okay so i simply copy this boundary and clip here so now i want to add here the band combination so i want to show this result in the true color composite so i use here the bar and then use here the rgb true okay this is my variable name i declare this variable name rgb true and define the same way i select my band combination from this collection so i simply use this collection s2a and use here the select function okay and i defined here my band combo composition but com band composition so i use here the b4 then b3 then b2 so this is my true color composite so i select from this collection okay so now you can see you can add here the visualization pixel range so i take the another variable bar rgb parameter i use here the parameter okay so then i use here select my uh, use here the curly brackets and here i define the mean pixel value mean reflectance value this will be zero and also max this will be 3000 okay so i defined it so now i want to add this result in my map view so i simply use here the map dot add layer function and use here my object so in this case my object is that rgb true and i simply copy here and paste here and i also use this visualization parameter this is my range 0 to 3000 i simply copy this variable and paste here and so give here this variable name true color true color so when i click to run you can get this result for your dhaka district so you can see this result will be appearing but in this case this image is not very cloudy but you can see here some cloud will be available okay so you can see this is the cloud white this is the cloud and this is also cloud so now i will make a function so that you can easily using this function and cloud all of this cloud so you, you can see this cloud <laughs> this cloud this cloud and i'll zoom here so that you can easily understand so now i want yeah. to remove this cloud so for this mm. here, I use this function and using this function, I remove all of this cloud easily. Okay. So let's go how you can use this function. So, okay. So I make this function here. So first of all, you need to use here the function. This is the function. Then you define your function variable name. So in this case, I, this variable name is max. You can give any name. I use this variable name max to clouds so i gave this variable name and my element is image okay and i use mm -hmm. here this curly brackets and first of all you need to select the cloud max band so cloud max band you can get every satellite images landsat 8 or sentinel 2 you can get a band this band name is cloud max band so if you don't know what is that, you can simply go and click, click to here and go to the band. You can get here this band. You can see this band name is cloud max band. You can see this is the cloud max band and this band name is UA60. You can see this is our band cloud max band. So now I will, uh, I will calculate all of this in uh, all of this from using this band. So I simply copy this band name UA60. So this is our, in this case, Sentinel-2, this uh, CloudMax band name is QA60. When you uh, use the Landsat mm -hmm. 8, you can get the another band name, but you uh, you can get this band name from here, CloudMax. But in the, in the Sentinel-2, this band name is QA60. So I simply copy this band name 
and I take a variable here, suppose var, I take this variable name is QA. You can get any variable name. So, and then use here the image. This is our element name and select using the select function. Select function, then paste here my band name, QA60. So this band is cloud marks band, okay? So now you, if you want to go this band, you can get the all of this information. You can go, you can see here in this band, in this band, there are two options. You can see the clouds and second option is Cirrus, clouds and Cirrus. So now I mm. make a function so that this cloud and Cirrus will be zero. So now I will make a function so that the hmm. cloud and Cirrus will be zero. So now I write this function here. First of all, I select this band. So now I write this function. First of all, I will uh, add here the cloud uh, and, and, and variable name. Suppose I add this variable name. This variable name is cloud, cloud bit max. You can use any variable name. So cloud bit max. And I use here the one less than double less than 10. And I also use for the Cirrus the same way. I take the variable and use here the Cirrus bit max. And I use here the one double less than double less than 10. Okay. I use the mm -hmm. same way. And then I make a max from this cloud and Cirrus and set the equal to zero. So you can easily do that. You can use a variable bar. I use the variable max. Okay. Then I use, I select this band variable name, this QS, QA variable, and I paste here. And then I use here the function. This function name is bit wise sorry bit wise and bit wise and this is the function name and you can know don't know what is the requirement you can simply use this you can see here on uh, bit uh, bit wise and is the in all of this information on an element wise basis calculate calculate the bit wise and of the input values so in this case, I want to calculate, first of all, calculate the cloud bitmax. So I simply copy this cloud bitmax and paste here. Okay. And I also set here the equal. Equal means equal. So for this, you can use the EQ. It means equal, equal to zero. So I set this the equal to zero. So this is the tax only for the cloud. And you can do the same tax for the Cirrus. So you can also use here the and you can use here the end function and uh, use the same way you can use the yeah, select the QA bands QA because in this band I store as this uh, cloud max band so this uh, variable name is QA so I select this QA and then I use here the bit wise bit wise and and I defined here the Cirrus. So this is my Cirrus variable name and I paste here. Okay. So I simply paste here. So then I also set here equal to zero. So equal to zero. So now I set all of this equal to zero. And now I use here the return function. What I can back from this using this function. So I use here the return return function. And then I use here the image, image. This is our element. And I also update, use here the update marks. So you can have update marks function. And you can see here, update marks, this element name is max. Actually, this variable you can, you can put here because this is our update information or update result. You can see, you can see there, there are different of cloud. So now I use this function and I set this cloud bitmax equal zero as well as I also set here the Cirrus bitmax equal to zero. And now I update these images with this max function, with this max variable. So I use here the max, 
so it default max so i also use at the max so i don't so uh, don't need to change here so you can see this is the max this is the also max okay so i don't change here i also divide it one because i need to a result uh, so i define it the divide the one because i want to use this okay so now when you you can see here this is our complete function and this function is for cloud max so now you can use this function using the map function so if you want you can use here the map function map function and then copy this variable name cloud to max simply copy and paste here okay so now this function will be added your total image collection using the map function so you map and this is our variable name i simply copy and paste here okay so now when i click to run i hope this cloud will be removed so what will be you can see what's happened so now you can see almost this cloud will be removed and you can see there is no cloud you cannot see there is no cloud okay so if you have any yeah. question okay so you can see there is no cloud and and we can uh, and another way when you don't use this function so i remove this function okay i mm -hmm. simply remove this function and click run you can get some cloud in your images you can see this is the cloud okay this is the cloud um, yeah so now i complete this function and i i write this function and i and i add this function with my over collection so i simply use the map and uh, and use here the function variable name okay so this is my function variable name so i simply use here and when i click run you can see all of this cloud will be removed from your image collection so this is the simple way so first of all you find your cloud bitmax function cloud bitmax band name then use here the cloud bitmax and use here the one less than 10 i also see uh, also do the same work for the siras bitmax and then you can use here the max function and get equal to zero both all of the siras and uh, cloud and now and return function you update this max okay so now you can see this result will be no cloud so now i hope you understand how you can easily cloud this uh, cloud remove from this images okay so now yeah. i i will try to show you how you can calculate the ndvi and uh, ndvi it's the same way so first of all mm.